for doing so. Ashley Perna! Hi everyone, thanks for coming out. I am doing amazing, thanks for asking. I had some really great uh, therapy today. It was fantastic. Um, and I'm getting so good at therapy, you guys. Like, I still make bad decisions, but now I know they're bad decisions. It's called growth. <laughs> Thank you. And I do need quite a lot of therapy because I am a very anxious person. You know, like, when I type R, my phone auto-suggests, you mad? <laughs> yeah. like, I have so many panic attacks that I can just skip cardio day. <laughs> I have a 378-day streak in Duolingo because I don't want to disappoint a fictional owl. <laughs> I did meet someone recently. Yeah. Oh, see, stunned silence and applause is exactly how my therapist reacted. <laughs> I mean, probably because my usual type is like 8 to 10 red flags in a tight t-shirt, you know? I'm not saying I have terrible taste, but if I've ever been interested in you, it's probably time for you to reevaluate your life. <laughs> um, it's good that I met someone, though, because I absolutely hated online dating, right? Like, men will go off on you if you don't respond instantly to their oh-so-riveting hate. <laughs> and women will ghost you for being the wrong astrological sign. Right? How Gemini of me, but still. <laughs> but I have to say, the absolute worst part about being single is when you forget to buy batteries and your vibrator dies and it's not. Because then you gotta go out and all handcraft stuff. <laughs> right? Like you're Amish or something. <laughs> No, that's when you need someone in your life to remind you to buy batteries. I'll call you next week. <laughs> Thanks, then. <laughs> um, so I, I'm not straight. Um, I'm not gay. Um, I'm just equally as terrible with all genders. Right? More of a pan-rejectional, if you will. Like, um, my last date with a woman was awful. She was clearly looking for a gold star lesbian. And for those of you who don't know, that's a woman who's only ever had sex with women. And that's not me. I am more of um, a whore. <laughs> so, so it didn't work out. Um, I had to go return the U-Haul. It was so fucking embarrassing. Um, I came out uh, later in my 30s, uh, but apparently I hid my sexuality about as well as a drunk teenager hides their intoxication from their parents. You know, like, terribly. Right? You know, my bestie was like, yeah, I know. And my mom was like, yeah, I know. And the really hot girl at the bar was like, yeah, I'm still straight. <laughs> I mean, truly, the whole thing was about as anticlimactic as sex with my ex. <laughs> right? You know, the kind where they jackhammer you for like 38 whole seconds, like flopping down, like that dead fish they're holding in their profile picture. <laughs> I should not pick on fish pit guys. We need more of fish pit guys. They're doing online dating right. They are showing us that they have a hobby that isn't harassing women, that they love the outdoors, and most importantly, they have a skill that directly results in food. This is a much better approach to online dating than sending a picture of a sad penis. Speaking of men, a uh, word of advice, you gotta up your nude game. Yeah. Um, the nudes I'm getting from women, works of art. The nudes I get from men are grainy and zoomed in and terribly lit. Seriously, you guys, get a ring light. <laughs> or if you really want to impress me, put your mattress on an actual bed frame. <laughs> I, I really shouldn't judge. An ex of mine from years ago released the nudes I sent him online. 
I'm so pissed, you guys. I took those when I was young and vulnerable, and he didn't even tag me first. <laughs> and when I did find them, I was so embarrassed. I definitely should have put my mattress on the bed frame. <laughs> you know, when I had to call the cops on another one of my exes, yeah, he stole from me. He stole the setup, the punchline, and the whole truth. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. It was because of all the abuse and harassment. <laughs> yeah. And running into him at a show afterwards was so awkward because I just froze on stage. That was not how I wanted to experience choking again. <laughs> and I had another ex who, uh, who wanted me to peg him. And, um, I wasn't into the actual pegging thing. I mean, all that jackhammer was like, in my head. Like, as soon as I put on that dick, I felt awesome, right? I left my clothes all over the floor. I came guilt free in 30 seconds. And then I rolled over and fell asleep. I totally get toxic messages. Thank you guys so much for coming. Please give it up for Ashley Perry.